Good morning and welcome to the new training week. Uh, last week we had this big news from OPEC actually agreeing on capping their oil production. The price of Brent crude oil and uh, West Texas Intermediate, the US crude um, sword is um, strong. It's uh, had a, a quite a bit of a rally and uh, also had some follow-on buying yesterday. Interestingly, if you look at the weekly chart where one candle is one week or if you use a line chart, you can start um, like in autumn of 2015 and go all the way um, up to today. There is uh, some um, pattern that you can find which uh, actually is usually found at the bottom of a downtrend and that is an inverted head and shoulders pattern and that pattern um, could be triggered or activated and technical analysts actually um, then would be able to um, project a price target for um, Brent crude oil and WTI of 78 US dollars per barrel. So there's quite some upside from a technical perspective, but the inverted head and shoulders pattern needs to be activated or triggered. And that is happening when Brent crude, when the Brent cash index is going above $52. So if Brent rises above $52, 53, 54, and closes there on a daily basis, or closes there on a weekly basis, which would be the even more, even stronger signal, then this bottom information would be activated with a technical price target at $78. The other scenario that could happen is that Brent crude rises to 52 and then bounces off strongly off of that resistance. That would be a, um, a repetition of what we've actually seen in the past weeks. So every time Brent rose to, to that area, to that area of resistance, to that neckline of the inverted head and shoulders pattern, there were a lot of sellers coming into the market. Interestingly, OPEC agreed now to cap production, which um, yeah, will remain, it will remain to be seen in the, in the coming weeks and months if the OPEC discipline is back. Because everyone within the OPEC, every member state has quotas and those quotas are capped now. So we will see in the next weeks and months if those quotas are really, um, if, if every member state is following the quotas or if they overproduce. Um, if they overproduce, uh, one would assume that it would be bearish for the price of oil, but there will be um, verbal interventions then from the OPEC, from the Saudis, um, from everyone uh, within the OPEC um, to um, actually um, motivate everyone to produce within the quotas again. So that would be, um, again, some psychological intervention um, and some succession to that series of um, uh, psychological interventions that we had in the um, oil markets as of late and in the past weeks and months that has helped to like bring out and push out short sellers out of the market. So that effect should not be underestimated. It's really interesting to see how well the uh, Russians and Saudis are managing to keep speculation at bay. And the Saudis, which are having big problems and large pro problems with their banking sectors, the credit default swaps for uh, the um, for the banking sector in uh, Saudi Arabia um, are skyrocketing actually, even with uh, with the stronger oil prices that we had in the past days, they are going up and up and up. The um, equity prices of Saudi Arabian banks are at an all time low. That is all because the Saudi government actually um, somehow everybody fears that they will come into some sort of financial problems. The um, central bank in Saudi Arabia actually intervened to provide banks with liquidity because uh, the Saudi government pulled out a lot of money out of the banks which forced them into some liquidity crisis. So, the decision that we had in the past week um, to cap production has not really been some sort of uh, let's do this, no problem. Uh, they are not living in freedom. They are somehow forced 
to do that. And so let's see how the discipline will be within the OPEC to really f uh, follow the OPEC uh, quota caps and production caps. That will be interesting to see for the time being. The price of oil is really interesting around the uh, price tag of $52. Will there be a resistance? Will it bounce lower off of that or will it break above that? Which would be a buy signal technically with a target of 78.